Hello everyone and thank you for uh, tuning into this little video. Um, this is just a video I wanted to make um, just to talk and uh, maybe make some new friends tonight. Um, you know we could always use a couple other friends out there and so I'm going to tell you right off the bat uh, this is not a message for the people who are planning on going to church in the morning. If you are planning on going to church in the morning uh, you're getting ready to put on your suit and ties and and think you're you're something big and, and and better than everybody else. This message is not for you, so you probably don't want to watch it. No, this message is for the exact opposite person. Uh, this is for the the Saturday night people. This is what I would call a Saturday night message. This message is for anyone, and you know this message is for anyone who maybe you're getting ready to go get uh, drunk. Uh, you're, you you like to drink. You like to smoke weed. You like to uh, do heroin. Uh, maybe do pills, cocaine. I don't care what you what, what you like to do and what you're getting ready to do. This message is for you. I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to somebody that's getting ready to 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 go to church in the morning. That's not who this message is for. This isn't what I would call a religious message. This is me trying to make friends with you. Okay? Maybe you're getting ready to go to a strip club. Maybe you're getting ready to pick up a prostitute. This message is for you. Maybe uh, you're a female. You're getting ready to uh, be with a man tonight, trying to find somebody that loves you, you know. You, you wanna, you're you going to sleep with him because he says, you know, he loves you, and, and, you're, and you're looking maybe for love. Maybe it's quite quite opposite from that. Maybe this message is for somebody out there. I'll go so far as to even say, you know, maybe you're a man and you're getting ready to sleep with another man because you're trying to find love too. So this message is for you too. I, th this message is for anybody. This message is even for the people that uh, a lot of the world right now is calling haters and they disrespect America because they kneel to the flag so they disrespect America. This message is for you. This message, again, is not for the person that thinks that they're all high and mighty and thinks that they're better than everybody else. If that is you, probably want to turn this off. I've probably already made you mad at this point, and that's okay. That is not what this message is for. So, friend... Who is this message for? First of all, can I call you friend? Would you like to be my friend? Because I'd like to be your friend, okay? And the reason why I want to be your friend is because, you know, sometimes we feel alone in this world. But I'm, I'm here to tell you that we're not. I'm here to tell you that there's somebody out there that loves you. And, you know, if you think, oh, well, nobody loves me. I felt that way many times myself. I felt that way many times. I thought the world would be better off without me. Uh, there's many times that I thought, you know, suicide would be the answer. W what have you? Um, you know, I thought that drinking would be the answer. I, I, you know, this is for the Saturday night people, the people that are real, the people that are living in life. Um, there have been many times that I've turned to the bottle, that I've turned to a, a, a woman for satisfaction, that I've turned to a lot of things, and guess what? It didn't find me happiness. Why? Because I did it again the next weekend, and I did it again the next weekend, and I was looking for something. And, and my friend, if you're watching this video, that, that's who I'm talking to. I'm talking to you, because I know you're looking for something. Why did you click on this video? This this is just a random video. You probably don't know me from Adam, and that's okay, but I still want to call you friend, okay? And I want to talk to you about something, and I want to tell you what you're looking for here, okay? Because you are looking for something you're looking for something to, to for to find happiness to find love to find contentment in life and and we go after so many different things you know maybe maybe it's money maybe, maybe you uh, think you know the more money i got maybe you're the drug dealer maybe maybe you're the one get ready to make a bunch of money tonight because it's saturday night and people are looking for hope and you're selling the drugs that's going to give these people the hope when in turn that's not going to give you hope either because your money is not going to save you. You're still going to feel empty inside too. So this message is for you, okay? This message is, to, is for you, and I'm telling you that I have found what you are looking for. I know exactly what it is because I've been in your shoes. If I hadn't been in your shoes, then my message would not make not a bit of sense, okay? If you notice, I've got a ball cap on. I've got a hoodie on. I'm sitting in my, my bedroom here just chilling out. It, it, it's Saturday night, uh, 10.53, and used to, I would have been out drinking, partying, searching for a woman, and doing all kinds of crazy things, but tonight, I want want to talk to you and I want to make a friend tonight and hopefully we can be friends uh, for a good long time uh, hopefully forever but how are we going to do that you may ask okay well first of all I'm going to tell you the answer that you're looking for in life everything that you're looking for can be summed up in one word and that is Jesus hold up wait wait 
Don't turn me off. I know. Right now, you're like, oh gosh, here's some guy. He's coming to me, preaching to me. No, that's not what I'm here to do. I am not here to preach. I'm not here to talk about religion. I'm here to talk to you about the solution to your problem, okay? Because I was looking for it too, okay? And I didn't know what it was. And, and you'll have these religious people, and you're like, oh, well, they think they're better than me. They, they don't accept me and all that. And, and forget them, okay? Forget them. I'm here to get down to your level and tell you I've been on your level. I I still struggle, okay? I'm not sitting here, you know, saying say I've got it all together. No, but I'm here to tell you the solution for what you're looking for is Jesus, okay? And if you will, just bear with me just a moment. I'm not going to be on here just a few minutes. This is going to be very short. This, this is a message of love, okay? This is not a message of hate. So if a religious person or the, the church or, or what have you, whatever you may call it, has, has said, you're going to hell, then I want to tell you that they may be telling you the truth there, but if they're like, oh, you can't, you can't change. There's nothing better for you. You're doomed to that lifestyle. If, you're, if they're not telling you about love, then they're telling you the wrong message. And I want to tell you tonight about love, okay? So what is love, okay? Well, you know, that's what we're all searching for. You know, if we're, if we're sleeping with this, we're sleeping with that, we're, 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 we're searching for a contentment. We're, se we're searching for something down in our heart. So th there's one way to, to show love, and that would be to give your life to the other person. So when you get married, you know, well, we, we, we'll get married because, you know, that, that's what we're, we're in love, right? Okay, so you give your life and you devote your life to that other person, okay? So, okay, God loves you enough that he sent his only son to die on the cross for you because he loved you that much, okay? He didn't send his son to die on the cross for, you know, the, the, the good people. He sent his son to die on the cross for you. And his name was Jesus. And he died on that cross to cover your sins, okay? And I want to go over just a few little scriptures right here, and then and then I'll let you go. Uh, but I'm going to go to Luke 9, 18 through 20. This is in the Amplified Bible. It says, Now it happened that as Jesus was praying privately, the disciples were with him and asked them, Who do the crowds say that I am? So Jesus asked them, Who does the crowds of people say that I am? Okay, they answered. Some say John the Baptist. Some say Elijah. But others... Uh, that one of the ancient prophets has come back to life. And then he said to them, But who do you say that I am? And Peter replied, The Christ, the Messiah, the anointed of God. Okay? But I want to focus on one point right there. Who, and he asked them, he says, Who do you say I am? So I want to know tonight, who do you say Jesus is? Okay? Because if you think Jesus is the type that says, If you do this, you're going to hell. If you do this, you're going to hell. If you do this, you're going to hell. You know, hell, 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 hell. And you don't think that he's telling you, I love you, then you don't know Jesus. Okay? You know religion. Okay? I'm here to tell you that I don't care what you are doing. There's only one way to find true happiness, and that's through love of Jesus. He loves you right where you are. So if you're getting ready to go and get drunk, I hope you don't. But if you are, I want you to know that God loves you, okay? If you're getting ready to go and smoke weed, I hope you don't, but I want you to know that God loves you, okay? If you're getting ready to go sleep with your boyfriend or girlfriend or what have you, and I don't care what sex you are, if you're getting ready to go do this, I want you to know God loves you, okay? He loves you right where you are. He loves you in exactly what you are doing and in what everybody else would tell you is wrong, he loves you. And if you've heard any other form of the gospel, you have not heard the gospel that is the true gospel. And that is the gospel that Jesus came and died on the cross because he loved you. Okay? So I want you to know right now, if you're homosexual, he loves you. If you're black, if you're Asian, he loves you. God loves you enough to send his son to die for you. Okay, because without his son dying, without him sacrificing his son, there's no way nobody can get to heaven. It is not God's will for us to go to hell. Okay, God doesn't send us to hell. He simply asked us, will you be my friend? Will you accept Jesus 
as that sacrifice to come see me. That's all there is to it, folks. This isn't, you don't have to have some kind of big degree. You don't have to have something like that. I'm just asking you, do you accept Jesus to be the sacrifice? Do you accept him to be the Son of God? Okay? And do you accept his sacrifice on the cross to cover your sins? Okay? What is sin? Sin is simply not lining up to what God would have us to do. Okay? So there's nobody. I don't care how big and fancy their, their cars are. I don't care how pretty and white their, 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 their shirt is and, and, how, and how straight their tie is. I don't care about that. They are a sinner too. We are all sinners. Everybody. Okay? But, but, Jesus loves them. Jesus loves you. Don't matter what you're doing, Jesus loves you. Okay? And too many times the religious people want to say, oh, you know, that's an abomination against God. God don't love you. God's not saving you. I want to tell you that God does love you and God wants to save you. Okay? Now, am I sitting here and saying that we can do all these bad things and that, you know, we can just continue to do these things over and over and over? No, I'm not saying that. I'm telling you, you're never going to find happiness. You're going to never going to find contentment. You're never going to find what you're looking for in those things. Okay? You're going to find happiness in Jesus. Okay? When you start learning and studying about him and figuring out who he is, you're going to find love. You're not going to find this kind of love and what is religion. This is not about religious people. This is about God, the creator of everything. Sending his son to die because he loves you right where you're at. So I'm not asking you to change tonight. I'm not asking you not to do anything. I'm just asking you to think about this. Who do you say he is? Whenever you hear the name Jesus, who do you say he is? Do you think he's the son of God? Or do you think he's just another um, person out here trying to spread hate? Because if you think he... Is, as out there and he hates you, you don't know Jesus. You don't know who he is. Because Jesus loves you. I mean, he, he was willing to give his life so that you could have life. So I'm telling you, there is no life in drinking. Okay? And I've done a lot of it. I've 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 done all kinds of it. But there's no life in, you know, smoking weed and getting high all the time. There's no life in that. Okay? There's there's no there's no life in you know, seeing how many different uh, women you can sleep with. There's no life in that. There's no life in any of these things. There's one way to obtain life, and that is through Jesus. Okay? So I encourage you tonight, friend, if you don't know Jesus, I want to be your friend. He wants to be your friend. Okay? If you say nobody lo doesn't love you, you're wrong. I love you. He loves you. And he loves you more than I ever will because I'm a sinner too. Okay? Okay? I only call myself a Christian because of what he did, not nothing I did. Only thing that I can do is say thank you, and I, I, I you know, I, I thank him and I praise him for what he done. So tonight, I want to leave this message with you. Who do you say he is? If you need some help, if you want to know more about Jesus, feel free to contact me. Um, my name is Jimmy Salisbury. If, if you're watching this on Facebook, feel free to contact me there. Uh, if you're watching this on my YouTube, uh, I'll, I'll leave an email at the bottom of this. You can email me, um, what what have you. I'll, I'll, I'll leave a website. Uh, I'll leave you some information. Um, but I just encourage you to really f figure out and, and seek after Jesus, not after religion. Okay? I want you to know that God loves you right where you're at. And even if the religious people say, oh, you're homosexual, God doesn't love you. They're wrong. Okay? Even if God says, you know, this, 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 and this, you know, he's showing you in love. He, he wants to deliver you from where you're at because he knows there's no contentment there. Okay? He's not telling you these things because he hates you, okay, and too many times the world around us wants to spread hate, and I'm here to talk to that demon right now and say, that ain't nothing but lies, okay, God loves you, okay, that's what this is all about.
that's what the whole Bible is about. It's about His love, okay? And sometimes the world around us is so messed up. You know, I want to speak just one more second here about the people that kneel for the flag. You know, so many Christians want to say, oh, that they disrespect America. They hate, it. you know, they're, they're not worth anything. But I'm here to tell you that they're worth something too, okay? I'm not saying I agree with what you're doing. I'm not saying I agree with what you're doing if you're going to go do pills. I'm not saying I agree with any of this stuff. I'm just saying I know what you're where you're coming from because I've been there too. And I'm telling you that you're searching for Jesus. And he loves you. And I feel led, before I close this out, if there's anybody out there watching that you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior and you want to know him, just repeat after me in this prayer. And you know, like I said, I'm just coming to you from my bedroom. I'm coming to you for real. If you want to know who he is, just, just you know, repeat after this prayer. If you want to go to heaven, if you want to know him as friend, you know, just repeat this prayer for me. And this is going to be simple. This is a, just a country boy prayer. This ain't nothing fantastic here. Just say, Dear Lord, I thank you, Lord, for sending your son to die on the cross for me. Jesus, I thank you for what you've done on the cross. And I thank you by your sacrifice that I can be called a child of God. So I thank you and I praise you, Lord, for that. I know that, you know, you didn't die on that cross and you didn't stay in the grave, but you rose again three days later. And by that, whatever I've done has been covered by your blood because you conquered death and you came to give me life and give it to me more abundantly. So I thank you, Lord, for that. That's as simple as it. You're a Christian now, okay? Now, you might not be what, you know, some people call the Christian because they're like, oh, you know, he, he you know, he, he now you've got to start dressing in suits and ties and everything like that. No, no, I'm not telling you that. Now, I'm not going to say that God's going to leave you where you're at because if you're getting ready to go drinking and stuff like that, if you, if you just said that prayer, I'm going to tell you that God's going to deal with you. Now you're not going to want these things anymore, okay? Because what you're wanting is Him, okay? So I'm going to encourage you to open your Bible. That's what you're wanting. Start in the Gospels. Go through Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Read those, and you'll see about this man I'm talking about, Jesus, and how He loved you, okay? I encourage you to open your Word. If you don't do that, um, you know, like I said, reach out to me. If you've got some questions, you know, I'm not I'm not claiming to be no Bible scholar. I'm an Eastern Kentucky hick, you know. But I'm here to tell you that I found happiness. I found contentment, and it was only in Him. I could not find it anywhere else. So that's why this message is for the Saturday night person. You know, if you notice, I didn't even take my hat off when I prayed. The religious people would say, you know, that's not right. I'm here to tell you that if this hat is t uh, stopping me from talking to God, uh, then so is this roof over top of my head. And so none of that's biblical at all. Okay. I'm telling you, he loves you. That's biblical. Okay. I hope this message helped you. Uh, reach out to me. I'll put my email and stuff down here. Thanks.